my browser of choice is the Brave browser. Go ahead and post your shell comments. But Brave, like most of the browsers out there, is a fork of the Chromium browser. Now you'd think that Chromium would work the same way on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And for the most part, it does. For the most part, that is. So for a really long time now, some users report up to a decade, some users even further back at 15 years, the scroll speed in Chromium has been roughly half of that in Firefox. I personally had never really noticed the issue because I'm just kind of used to scrolling like this, but comparing it to the updated version, this is a full scroll in Chromium 109, and this is a full scroll in Chromium 102. You can clearly see the amount of difference. So, the most recent bug report was in 2021. Poor resize performance, mouse scroll performance, and UI incongruence on Waylon plus vanilla GNOME 40 and 41 plus Ubuntu. Now, it's great that the problem is finally addressed, but for the sake of all of the developers' sanity, please don't report an issue like this. I'm not saying don't report the bug, but don't make a mega bug thread. It's really obvious just based on the fact that these are completely different actions that these are completely different bugs. Split it out into separate bug reports so if one of these things gets dealt with then that bug report can be closed and it doesn't close it for all the others. We'll get into exactly what the bug was and how it was addressed in just a moment but before we get to that this was absolutely not the first time the bug was reported. It's been reported in the browser forks like Vivaldi and also Brave, and even from the other side of the aisle, someone reported this in Firefox with the exact opposite problem, saying that Firefox scrolled too quickly, it should scroll as quickly as Chromium. I honestly don't know what you have to be thinking to decide that, ah yes, Chromium is scrolling too slowly, therefore what I should do is try to get Firefox to be as slow as Chromium. I don't know how that makes any sense, but this bug report existed. And while I've seen people say the problem existed for longer, the oldest bug report that I could find was from 2015. Linux scroll speed is too low. Steps to reproduce the problem. Scroll in Chrome on Windows. Scroll in Firefox on Linux. Scroll in Chrome on Linux. What is the expected behavior? What went wrong? Didn't even give any expected behavior. Uh, too few pixels are scrolled. Scrolling have become tiring. Did this work before? Not applicable. And this was in... Chrome version 44. This was so old that people still cared about Flash Player. Now you might reasonably think if the problem was reported seven years ago, why wasn't it fixed? Is it some crazy difficult problem that no one really wanted to tackle, that no one really understood? Anything like that. Well, it wasn't understood, but not because they didn't understand how to fix it, the line size is the same between all platforms. I think this is the difference between how many lines the OS scrolls with each mouse wheel tick. On Windows and probably Linux, that's a configurable setting of the OS, so you probably just need to adjust that setting. This issue right here tracks aligning the size with IE and Edge on Windows specifically. I don't think there's anything here to do on the Chrome side. Feel free to reopen if I miss something. The person completely misunderstood what the problem was and marked it as won't fix. But this user here pointed out that it is a problem and provided a very simple test to demonstrate what is actually happening. They wanted to reopen it and they couldn't do so. Luckily this dev was interested in at least hearing what was going on. Maybe this user had a high DPI display that would affect the way that scrolling works, but this was 2015 and the user had a 1080p monitor because of course they did. That's what everyone had then unless you were using a Mac. And this sort of went back and forth for quite a while about how the scrolling works and how much it's scrolling and eventually got to this. The distance and behavior is the same between Chrome and Gedit, which is true, and Firefox, which is not even remotely true. That is completely wrong. I don't know how they thought that. On Windows, it scrolls on each click, and the distance is the same as on IE. Given that our behavior matches other apps, that being GTK apps, 
I don't think there's anything we should do here. In any case, this is a highly subjective topic, so I'm sure we can't make everyone happy here. Sorry. In the worst case, I'm sure you can play with your input settings to speed up and slow down scrolling. This dev didn't want to fix it because it might bother some people. Do you want to know how you fix something without bothering people? You offer a toggle. That's all you do. Literally the only thing that has to happen. So then once again, they marked it as won't fix. And from then on, the thread basically just devolved into chaos because a lot of users wanted to see this fixed. Some of the comments in here are actually reasonable, just saying that this is a problem they want to see addressed. Other comments, uh, not so much. There is no need to fix the issue. All you need to install is a third party backdoor that will break your experience and return back to Windows from Linux. No need to mention there was an option for wheel speed and they removed it. Ah, yes, they removed it for good because they are genius. They do know what they are doing. They are geniuses, no other explanation. This is not how you get developers to do things. Please don't leave comments like this. It's not helpful. And it just kept going on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> just until we get to this fun one right here. Let's hope the upcoming LTT Linux videos are going to bring more attention to this issue, or at least contact and get them to mention it somewhere. I don't think we'll get anywhere unless this gets more exposure, as evident by being won't fix for the past six years. Now, as I mentioned, I didn't realize there was a problem until I knew about the problem, but users who were really bothered by it were using applications like I am Will. This lets you control things like your scroll speed on an application by application basis. So you can have it just on Chromium where it doubles or increases your scroll speed as much as you want. And if you wanted a browser plugin solution, originally people were using Chromium Wheel Smooth Scroller. This offered a lot of customization. You could have it speed up based on how fast you're scrolling, but for most people, this was a little bit overkill. So in 2020, there was Linux Scroll Speed Fix, which you just installed, it automatically set it to roughly the correct value, and it works well enough. I say well enough, because the scrolling isn't that smooth. That might bother some people. For me, not really a big deal. Because Brave is still using Chromium 102, it makes sense to still have the plugin around. I've been messing around with it, and I can absolutely see why people were using it. And now you're probably wondering, what actually was the problem? Was it some issue that maybe was a big issue? Was it something that could have been fixed in a single day? What possibly could have been an issue that stuck around for 15 years? Well, I looked into this once again. Here is the summary. Chrome has the delta defined for the scroll wheel in pixels, and that value is defined per platform. Chrome on Linux uses the value of 53. So each scroll event is going to scroll with a delta of 53 pixels, which is said to be as in GTK+, plus, so the same as GTK+. Plus. On Windows, that value is set to 120, and there are other variants. See the cross-platform pixels per tick function in the web test. So for Linux, we have 53, which was apparently selected for consistency. Consistency with the Linux desktop, not consistency with browsers or with Chromium. But I would say that mouse wheel scrolling on Linux does not seem really consistent. That's absolutely true. If I scroll in my file manager, it doesn't scroll based on the number of pixels. For instance, the default setting in my console and Kate, I know they're not GTK applications, is scrolling three lines per wheel click, no matter which is the font size. So the pixel delta will be greater with larger font. On the contrary, gedit, presumably a GTK application, yes it is, does not respect the font size and scrolls always for some amount of pixels which is greater than 53. So it was selected for consistency, but it's not actually consistent because even applications using GTK 
do it a little differently. In this case, 60 or 70. In Firefox, it is far greater, about 130 pixels per wheel click, so even higher than Chromium is. Given the above, I think Chrome should lean to the UX provided by other browsers. I propose unifying the scrolling with Windows, which will make it similar to Firefox, not exactly, but close enough, and also improve uniformity across platforms for Chrome itself. The issue, the 15 year old issue, an integer that was set too low. <laughs> that is all, that is all the problem was, the entire issue, nothing else, nothing more complex, an integer. And the problem could have just never existed if they exposed a setting to change the value. It can be 53, it can be 7, it can be 120, it can be 300. If there was an option to just set it to what you want it to be, the problem wouldn't exist. Oh, someone's complaining the default value is too low. Doesn't matter. Fix it yourself. There's an option there. There was no option. The users had to deal with it for this long. <laughs> so the only thing left now is for the browser forks, Vivaldi, uh, Brave, anything else out there to ship a new build using the newest version of Chromium. I believe Brave has a version ready. It's not available on Arch yet, but likely will be soon. On other slower moving distros like, you know, Ubuntu, it'll take a while to really get there but at least it's fixed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you know about this problem? Did it ever affect you? Do you even use a Chromium browser? I would love to know. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, Scribes and Libero Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.